Let me ask her. Let me ask her. Yeah, Deuteronomy 32, 39. Come on. You know that one? Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 32 and verse 39. Uh -huh. See, now I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. So the Lord said, there is no other God with him. There is no Ishmaelite God. Because, yo, Hala just means power. Right? There is no other God with Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai. Right? And there is no Buddha. Buddha is just a big fat guy. We fool him on and the power and big rock. And the bird them come and fix him up. Right? There is no other God with our power. Read. I kill. What the Lord said? I kill. The Lord said, Him are the one who take you out of the misery. And Him are the one who kill. No, no, no. We feel like say, I would not the real killer. The Lord use you to do the killing. Read on, King. And I make a life. I wound and I heal. The Lord said, I kill and I make a life. I wound and I heal. Sister, you think I never kill people? Sister, excuse me. Hello. Hi, anybody home? The Lord said, I kill and I wound and I heal. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So where do you sick? I Lord sick or no? And the Lord said, none of us can deliver out of hand. Right? Grabian. Grabian. Southern. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> right, right. So they have you ever been to you, man, you know? Right, right. That's it, that? Read the king. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. Slakia 8, verse 8. There is no man that has power over the spirit. You see, none of us now have power over our own spirit. I never knew I was going to come out here and do the work of the Heavenly Father. But the Father put the Spirit by me. I'm going to come out here and do his work. That's right. You understand? None of us have power over the Spirit. To retain. So if, to retain the Spirit. So if you, you find yourself, say, you turn go-go, you have the man to turn a go-go. Say, Lord, yes, the grand man, go turn your go-go. Go and go dance. Make man throw money upon you. Right? You have the man to go turn go-go. Say, Lord, give you to your foolish thinking. I saw the Lord work, man. And some of us are not shut up. We are not shut up. The Lord said, oh, you want to shut up? Well, go on. Go on shoot. Till you get shoot. Right? Read. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 8. There is no man that has power over the spirit to retain it. Neither has the power in the day of death. You see? He can't come away from the day of death. Because the Lord put him over to the death now. Him sure of himself all the time I'm alive. The Lord said, you come now, you're going dead. Right? And when the Lord call your number, oh, me not ready for dead yet, Lord. The Lord said, you come, because you're going dead. You're dead, man. Right? He must send the butcher come to butcher you. Or if him send one girl come, you know, if he pies near, you, you're still a dead. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, you have to come stand up with me now. <laughs> yo, right, read the hand, King. And there is no discharge in that war. And there is no discharge in that war, man. Because, yo, from the Lord give you over to it, you have to do it. That's it, yeah? More on it. Read that. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. You see that? So if you choose to say, I shut up. The Lord say, you come. I go and make a ton shut up. And you're going to be a good shot at all. Right? And you walk and shoot down the whole place. And say so you're big and tough. You're a rambo friend. Right? And say, so boy, oh, and me, I hear a leader. The Lord just raise up all the youths to come. Me, why you turn a shot at all? And he come for you and take you out. So your days are shutting over. So you have a new little shot. At, and him days coming to take out too. Right? <laughs> Cancel out each other. Yeah, Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 64 and verse 4. No, 66 verse 4. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66 
and verse 4. Uh -huh. I also will choose their delusion. You see that? The Lord said, yo, he might go choose another delusion. So if you feel like it, you want to not shatter. The Lord will turn you not shatter. If you feel like it, you want to come and you want to do your own thing. You want to turn footballer. You want to turn hockey player. You want to turn rugby player. You want to turn boxer. That's all right. Go on and go turn boxer. Till them box you over. Read. And I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. So the Lord said, when you go choose or you choose, if I go bring you, your fear upon your man. Because the Lord know about fear. You, know. you have some woman them spirit a spider. And the Lord go send you know, a big spider in your house. When you go in, you run out of your house. You're not staying in there because the little spider in there, mackling, right? In I'm web. And you run out of your house. Think it's spider or no? Spider or bill, right? If you know your fear, if somehow fear, lion, the Lord will make one lion come turn up right to your gate, right? Because the Lord say, you know, wild beasts are going to change them place. That's right. And we see over there in Thailand, the monk, them have one place they call Monkey Town. When you go there, be a monkey in that town. Take over that town, right? Them have to call it Monkey Town because wild beasts change them natural place. And some of the people who never change the place and never go live in a desert, right? Some of them who never go mark a dog because of food that they have to feed, you know, right? But the Lord said, him servant, I go eat, right? When you never suffer and are dead for hungry and dead for thirst, right? Over there, over there, read that. That's it. When I spake, they did not hear. When the Lord said? When I spake, they did not hear. When the Lord called, don't have to answer, man. I don't want to do, go around and do the one thing, man. Second Ezra, chapter, give me the book of Second Ezra. Yeah. Give Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. But they did evil before my eyes. When the Lord said? But, but they, they did, did evil before, before my eyes. eyes. The Lord said, no, did evil before him eyes, man. Right? Now, give me 14 and 14. Second Ezra, 14 and 14. Because we do we done evil before the heavenly father eyes. Evil coming back to the man. Recompense are come for the man. Right? What do you think we're gonna get in our way? Some of no? Yo, when you feel like on a hairstyle nice. Huh? When you feel like on a chose is tight. Oh, I'm sexy. I'm too sexy. You're too sexy for dead. And I say, I look like everybody was sexy now. I sexy around things. All the man that must come out here and wear tight pants. Ah, okay. Eh? What you do, man? Come out on the tight pants. Put on good clothes, man. Who well, alone want sexy up? I run down the girl them. Eh? What you do, man? Read on, King. Oh, this is the book of Second Ezra, 14, uh -huh. verse 14. Uh -huh. Let go from the mortal thought. The Lord said, let go of the way of this world, man. Let go of fight, man. Read. Right. Cast away the burdens of men. Cast away the burdens of men. No make the man talk about say, he might make skinny jeans. And you gang and joke skinny jeans. But you want a skinny jeans. Because um when when them name Versace make skinny jeans. So I'm going up in skinny jeans. Versace and make skinny jeans for look for your good. You might watch your shape. Right? You might check out your physiques. <laughs> Put off now the weak nature. The Lord said what? Put off now the weak nature. The Lord said put off the weak nature, man. Can't do for the weak and feeble, man. Right? Mama, you're the weak and feeble. Look how you look strong. The Lord said take off the weak nature, man. Hello, where are you from? Come here, come here. Where are you from? The Lord said take off the weak nature. Right? Read. That's the way the brain. And set aside the thoughts. That are most heavy unto thee. Set aside the thought that are most heavy unto thee, man. Right? Give me verse 15 now. Jump up to verse 15. That's verse 15. No, uh, one and fifth, second Ezra 15 and 1. Okay. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. The words of prophecy we are speaking on the ears of the children of Israel. Sister, are you Israelite? Huh? Hello, sister. Why are you walking in the garbage? Read on, King. We 
which will put in thy mouth. And that's in our mouth. The, the words of prophecy. What the Lord put in our mouth. Thus says the Lord. Right? Which I will put. Which he will put in our mouth. Give me yes. um, the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. And start at um, verse 2. Start at 1 anyway. Habakkuk chapter 2. Yo, where go on, king? Where do you come from? Sierra Leone. Eh? Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Yeah. You know, Sierra Leone, you my brother, you know. Yeah. Nigeria, you know? Yeah, what? You know? Yeah, man, you know, Israelite said, you know. You know, you have to repent and come back to the Lord. And start keep his commandment. And grow up in the beard. Yes, sir? <coughs> you go to church? Yeah. This is the church. Give me Matthew. Matthew chapter um, 18 verse 20. L listen to this before you go. We are showing the church. You read that. Matthew 18 verse 20. This is book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20. Uh -huh. for, where the, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, uh -huh. here I am in the midst of them. So this is the church, my brother. The Lord said where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of us, man. So this is the church, right? That building is just a building where they carry people in and fungle them. That's right. We hold upon the we hold upon the road. Everybody has see what we are doing. That's right. We don't care nobody behind closed door. Go fungle them. Right? We hold here with the word of the Lord, man. What are you doing, man? You love the Lord? Let me show you something if you love the Lord. Let me show you love. Right? Because people have said I love the Lord, but they're not sure they love to the Lord. Uh -uh. Give me first John chapter one. First John chapter five verse three. Right? First John chapter five verse three. This is the book of first John five verse three. Uh -huh. Bring it up. For this is the love of the of the, the hour. Love the Lord. Eh? Come here, come here, sister. Look here. We're gonna show you the love of the Lord. Read it. First John five verse three. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. This is how we show the heavenly father so we love him, man. And we out of here a minute, man, and we are going to close out. Because what? Uh, yo, we born, you know, we there for a minute, man. That's right. Right? So, brother, we don't have the precept, we don't want to bring out. Give me Psalms. Hello, sister. Hello, sister. Sis, they have something to tell you about your eyelash. Come here. Them don't look good, you know, them look off. Yes, they really? You never know, so them off. You want to put on some pie here, though? What do you mean? No, sir. But me I dress up my coat, me put on, yeah? You know, you ain't saying. Oh, God. Nobody no big again, you know. When you reach certain age, you know, you have to act your age, you know. Right? You know, like people them come like, say, them depend on some different, you know, them depend on some pharmaceutical drugs, man. Right? Them men are them right, man. Something wrong with them, brethren. Give me Psalms. Um, Psalm 78. I start at one. Then none of them right, my man. But read that one. This is Psalm 78, verse 1. Give here, O oh my people, to my law. Right, sir? Give here, O oh my people, to my law. Sister, two minutes at a time. You know the Lord give us law. Read. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Read on. I will open my mouth in a dark, in a parable. In a what? In a I will parable. open my mouth in a parable. The Lord said we are going to open the mouth in a parable. So when you hear we out here and we attack, the way we attack, we attack with wisdom. Because yo, you have some little whole rusty people by your job. Go on like say, they want to say certain things and then they carry down with them, carry down by it. But we are opening the mouth in a parable. So if you can understand, Turn off the channel and go right. somewhere else. Right? And that's our message for you, man. Right? That's it and that. Yeah. We are close out. And we say what? Come, yeah. come on the line. Come on the line, brethren. Come on the line. Right? Come in. Come we are going to have a mighty shout out to you by Shimmy and Shai. We are going to have a card. Right? And they say what? Prophetai Yahweh. Prophetai Yahweh Shai. Prophetai Yahweh. Prophetai Yahweh Shai. And Manuel Shai. Yeah, man, until the next time. Well, on. blow it off.
Until the next one, man. Come here, Charlotte. Come here, Charlotte.